Chairperson, Deputy President, Minister. The Division of Revenue Bill indicates the share of nationally collected revenue between national, provincial and local spheres of government that after debt services costs have been provided for. Now sadly, the amount that is allocated for debt service costs is more than that which is allocated to local government. And this obviously is a concern for us. With the total baseline deductions from the budget being 26 billion and transfers to provinces reduced by 5.2 billion and local government 3.2 billion. Now these reductions will also continue over the medium term. And whilst we appreciate that when one looks at the percentage that these cuts are relatively small as a percentage of the total allocations, the downward adjustment will undoubtedly delay certain planned infrastructure product, projects as they apply to mainly to the infrastructure conditional grants. And this is regrettable, considering that provinces and municipalities need to invest significantly in infrastructure to boost economic growth, to deal with inequality, poverty, and of course, to create jobs. And while it is expected that large municipalities will offset some of the reductions in the infrastructure grants by investing more of their own resources, this may not be feasible given the financial constraints facing municipalities. Now, the Human Settlements Development Grant to provinces is reduced by 7.2 billion over the medium term, and this will clearly slow delivery of new houses and service sites. House owners, Chairperson, need to be able to access the full value of their properties. It is unacceptable that a large number of houses, about 1 million in total, built through state subsidies, are not on the deeds register yet. As a result, owners cannot access the full value of their properties. Just think if owners were able to, that want to start a small business, but the properties are registered in their name, they could access capital to start those small businesses. The ACDP thus welcomes the creation of the Title Deeds Restoration Grant. This will hopefully reduce this backlog more quickly, and eradicating this backlog would unlock an estimated 180 billion rand of estimated value for low-income houses, and this needs to be supported. Chairperson, we know that municipalities are facing financial and institutional problems, breakdowns in service and mounting debts, and non-payment of their creditors is a symptom of deep underlying problems. We know water boards aren't being paid, ESCOM aren't being, isn't being paid, and this results in problems for those institutions as well. Now, the committee in its report focused on this issue in its past reports as well, and sadly, little progress has been made in improving internal management of these structures, such as the municipalities, to Honourable ensure member, your time that is now funds expired. transferred are used efficiently. I thank you. Thank you.